Hey, what we're going to do today is we're going to restore headlights on my 2008 Suburban LTZ. I'm using a kit from Mock Mid Atlantic for headlight restoration. It comes with two pieces of sandpaper, it comes with alcohol wipes, it comes with lint free towels, it comes with a, a UV curing clear coat that actually makes your headlight look brand new when you're done. I've already started on this kit, so you'll only see two of the lint towels and one of the pieces of sandpaper. Um, if you'll take a look, this is the headlight before. Uh, it's not bad. This is not a bad one at all. This is after I've started uh, wet sanding the wet sanding it, and it looks terrible. It's going to look really good when we're done. So let me show you how it's done. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take your sandpaper fold it in half, take water and wet your headlight down, and wet your sandpaper. Then you want to take the wet sandpaper, which is 600 grit, and you want to sand the headlight. You want to use straight lines, back and forth and up and down, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to remove all the surface stains that you saw when I showed you the headlight before. Make sure you get the corners really well. People tend to forget that they're not reaching down in the corners with any kind of pressure. And when they get a finished product, it doesn't look as good as it should. So what you wanna do is just keep sanding until you get it done. Make sure that it stays wet. Also, you need to be very careful not to scratch the paint on your fender. Down here along the bottom, the bumper is recessed enough from the headlight that you don't really need to worry, but you do still need to use caution. Fold your paper in half again. You notice your headlight getting dry? Wet everything. Take your water and rinse it down. Get one of your lint free towels. And wipe it down. When you wipe it down, you'll be able to see if there's anywhere else that you need to take care of. It's not real easy to do as far as finding it because of the surface scratches that you just put in. What you're looking for are ripples in the plastic, is some sort of discoloration. I've already done this headlight right here, and if you'll notice right along in here, it still needs to be done. This is okay. Right in here needs to be hit with some more sandpaper. All right, so like I showed you before, the area that was bad, I'm just hitting that a little bit. I'm not using really hard pressure, just kind of a uh, medium, medium light pressure.
and then take this, rinse it off, and check it and see what it looks like. And notice the pretty much gone now. Okay, so I have wet sanded it. Now I'm taking the lint-free towel. I added a little bit more water just to help the lint-free towel pick everything up. And I am cleaning the light. And now the tamp towel is still damp, so I am wiping it down. Add a little bit more water to this, just so that it wipes clean easier. I take this, wipe it down. Now I'm looking at this headlight to see if there's anywhere else I need to hit before I finish it. And right down in here, might get a better. We'll see. All right. Now I'm taking the towelette that it comes with, and I'm going to wipe it down per the instructions. Open it up. I'll fold it in half and fold that in half so it doesn't dry so fast. And I'm just going to wipe it down. This preps the surface for the clear that you're about to put on. comes with two of these, one for each headlight because it dries really fast. And again, the other paper uh, towelette. And again, the other towelette, I'm going to fold it in half and fold that in half and then wipe this down to prep the surface, flip it. Making sure I get my corners and my edges really good. Next thing you want to do is you want to mask off the painted surfaces so that when you put your clear coat on, you don't have any problems with it uh, getting on that. Simply slide it in the cracks. I'm just using regular old printer paper. You can use newspaper, you can use just about anything you need. And just tape it down so it doesn't fly up. Alright, so what you do after you wet sand it, you mask it off like you see here, I've got mine masked off just to protect the paint, it's not going to do much to it. And then you really want to shake this a lot because it has to be mixed well. And then, after you do that, you just simply spray. And the sun cures it. The next headlight, and as you can see, it's prepped and everything. We just need to clear it. Right down here in the corner. And that is all. It is done. It's just got to dry. The sun, again, it's a UV curing process. The sun needs to bake on it for 
a minimum of 30 minutes before you can drive it. And it'll last for years. And there's the final product. Headlight restored. It should stay that way for years. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.